Ruben, my husband, was music meant everything to him. That was his passion. Um, then I overheard a conversation one time where someone asked, if you could pick any band to see at Red Rocks, what would it be? And he said, my morning jacket. And so I was just kind of surfing around, uh, looking at the schedule, and I saw that my morning jacket was playing in August and decided it was one of many kind of trips that I made to honor him and memorialize him. And um, so I just, I booked a ticket, not knowing who would go with me. And it didn't take long before I kind of remembered that Britain lived in the Colorado area somewhere. And so I, I told him about the concert and I told him I also was gonna go skydiving. And he said, absolutely. We are both kind of living moment to moment and looking for ways to, to honor Ruben and Jax and being at a wonderful show and jumping out of an airplane. <laughs> they both seemed like things that would do that. I'm Jen Garza. I was married to Ruben Garza for a very short time and I lost him to cancer. Jax, uh, she fought cancer for two and a half years. Everything kind of boiled down in those two and a half years to just, I only wanted one thing. When that happened, I didn't know what the future looked like. She'd been such a big part of my life. Uh, there kind of wasn't much left. I kind of felt like I had already lived life and loved the way a few people get to, and so I didn't really care what the future held. I, I kind of thought I already had it all. The concert was, was pretty great. We were sitting roughly about where we are now and uh, full moon came up and it was just kind of a magical night. Kind of the whole weekend was full of signs, we thought, from, from Ruben and from Jax. And then Jen said, you know, the best thing would be if, if there were fireworks, but it was August, you know. There aren't going to be any fireworks. And Ruben sure loved enough, fireworks. <laughs> sure enough, somewhere out in the distance, we have no idea what the event was, there were some fireworks. Then later that night when it came time to say goodbye, um, it was way harder than either one of us expected to say goodbye. We kind of, we hugged and we, we couldn't let go. And, um, and that was kind of the beginning. Something that we did independently uh, was to look through the other person's My Lifeline page before we ever really started emailing. Um, and so Jax had been using My Lifeline from the time of her diagnosis. She used that as kind of her outlet. That was her blog. And uh, she wrote, I don't know, I bet you there's 40 pages. So I went back and read pages and pages and pages and pages of, of her story and of her posts. And, and then he said that he went back and read all of mine. And, and for us, I was, as the caregiver, that was my outlet. That was my way to kind of rally my troops. and. Um, and so we knew so much about the other person's spouse before we ever even connected that we, I wish I was friends with Jax and, and he wished the same for Ruben. And my lifeline was just kind of surrounding all of it. Well, he proposed. <laughs> when we first started talking about our wedding and what we wanted, we knew instantly we wanted to give back, you know, in lieu of cheesy wedding favors, we wanted to make a donation. When my lifeline approached me about the ribboning campaign that they're doing, which is all about awareness. Um, it's kind of the perfect combination of raising awareness about my lifeline, about cancer. So I want that resource to be there for everyone and I want everyone to know about it. We think for our wedding, that's, that's what we want people to do. We want them to support the organization that has supported us for so long. Once we decided on the date for the wedding, I started religiously checking the Red Rocks schedule, I saw Wilco was playing two days before our wedding. Ruben's top two bands of all time were U2 and Wilco, which he introduced me to and which I'm introducing Britain to. And it's just another one of those kind of gifts from Ruben, like here's my wedding present, enjoy it. Yay. Feeling good? I'm feeling pretty good. Well, the future looks, looks good now. Mm -hmm. um, there is a future. That's, that's kind of one thing for me. You know, I didn't think there was much left after that. Um, so now there is a future, and uh, Jax and Ruben will always be a part of our lives. And it's not like we're replacing them, because those two people can never be replaced. But there's a new chapter, and uh, I'm happy to spend it with her.